So the question is, what if Harvard made a startup incubator, added a gym, ran on Bitcoin and floated off the coast of Singapore? Well, welcome to the network school. Part classroom, part startup hub, part sci-fi island fantasy. Dreamed up by Indian origin entrepreneur and crypto philosopher Balaji Srinivasan. This isn't your average school as I've pretty much described. It's actually a working demo of the future. A school, a town, a startup nation and maybe, just maybe, the boldest education experiment of our times. All this at a time when the startup dream is unfortunately flickering. Just last week, if you remember, we'd heard about Subtle.ai, one of India's most promising Gen AI startups, quietly shutting down. We speak of a hundred unicorns, but often forget they rise from the ashes of the fallen. This is the paradox of our ecosystem. A land of bold visions, but built atop quiet closures. And yet, the network school dares to ask, what if we didn't just build startups, but societies. To understand the origin story of this, we'll have to rewind a little bit. Balaji, ex-CTO of Coinbase, ex-partner at A16Z, author of The Network State, has long obsessed over one big idea. Forget companies, forget countries. What if we built communities from the cloud up? In late 2024, that idea got coordinates. Yes, Balaji bought an island near Singapore and launched the network school. 128 technologists, 80 plus countries, 3 months, Starlink blueprint meals, guest lectures by Vitalik Buterin, Brian Johnson, Ryan Peterson. And one very, very real question. Can a group of internet strangers build a real-world society? Balaji's answer, of course, is this. We didn't just build a school. We built a society. So, what is the network school? Well, it is Think Less Coding Bootcamp, more Stanford 2.0 meets Basecamp. The daily rhythm, actually, is learn, burn, earn, fun. So, let's start with learn. AI crypto, startup law, media, problem of the day, exams, NFD, credentials, the burn aspect of it, workouts with semi-personal trainers, group fitness, precision nutrition, the earn part of it, yes, that's an important one, crypto bounties, startup pitches, investor office hours, the fun part of it is book clubs, jam sessions, beach parties, uh, and of course, there is fast Wi-Fi, office pods and a library, auditorium and laundry too. So the rent for all of this is $1,000 a month with roommates, $2,000 if you want to go solo, which includes gym, food, internet, community and everything that comes with it. So the question is, why now? Because universities are broken. Because visas are a mess. Because elite education often shuts out the best minds. So what Balaji calls dark talent. So rather than fix the system, he built a new one. A system where Indians, Africans, Latin Americans, developers and remote builders from Asia can learn, earn and thrive. Not in Boston, not in San Francisco, but in a tropical crypto-powered meritocracy. It's, it's actually like the Massachusetts Bay Colony, but for technologists. We're building Harvard before the city exists. The bigger vision, this island school, well, that's just version 1. Version 2, in 2025, a full year. 256 residents. Version 3, a campus under construction. Version 4, open source the model completely. Let anyone launch their own. Version 5, alumni launching network schools worldwide from Bali to Buenos Aires. Not just to replace universities, but to reimagine cities, economies and 
governance itself. So the point is, should you apply? Well, Balaji's filter is pretty clear. High agency, low maintenance technologists, remote workers, self-starters, founders, coaches, writers, builders. And if you're hunting for a beachside luxury getaway, this actually isn't it. This is the startup nation grind. Frontier living and yes, applications are open now at ns.com. So, in a world where universities are bankrupting students, cities are pricing out builders, online communities are fragmenting. Balaji's network school doesn't offer escape. It actually offers a reboot. Not utopia, but a working operating system for the next layer of civilization. Not built by governments, but by Git commits. And if this idea catches on, from Singapore to Dubai to Miami, you might just witness the founding of the future. And talking about a future, well, I just want to tell everyone that Cypher 2025 in its ninth edition is going to be taking place from the 17th of September right through till the 19th of September. Not at an island this time, well, it might happen in the very near future, but this time around, it's happening at KTPO Whitefield, Bangalore. And you never know that we might have Nityanand, who's also bought an island, uh, part of that entire community that is going to be visiting the biggest AI summit and expo, which is Cypher. 2025. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe, and remember, think AI, think AIM.